Hello, welcome to Airedale, Wharfdale and Craven support to enable you to use your online registration which you might recently have been issued. Um, this is a guide on how to navigate around the website and um, order prescriptions, make appointments, look at your records and uh, we hope it helps. Hello, the first stage you need to go to is your practice's individual website. There should be a link on the website to either System Online or something that says GP Online Services. Here you may find how to register. You will need to include um, some photo ID when you ask at reception for your login details. If you've already been given those, there should be a link to the System Online website. The login and password that you have been given is um, case sensitive so you will need to log in exactly as the document you've been given. The password you have been given will be a mixture of large and small letters, numbers and symbols but you can then change that to one of your own choosing. We're using Mickey Mouse to demonstrate On the home page, appointments is the first item on the menu and if you would like to book an appointment you first of all have to click the date range that you need to book an appointment and it splits them into two week bunches. If you then show those appointments that are available to book online you can see the dates of the appointments and the times of the appointments and the name of the doctor who is available. If you then wish to view an appointment you can ag again see that it's a 10 minute slot with Dr. Worsfold on the 16th and if you click on book it then gives you a summary of that appointment if you can give details of why you need to see the doctor, it will enable them to gather any information that might be needed before you arrive or to give them an idea of why you need to be seen. Then you can book the appointment and if you need to, you can print off a confirmation of that appointment. And now if you go back to appointments you can now also look at the future appointments and see the same details of that appointment. As you can see this is a much simpler operation than trying to get through on the phone. You can see which doctors are available and what dates are available. So now that appointment is booked it's in your future appointments if you cannot attend that appointment then you can with one click cancel the appointment and make that available for another patient who may be in great need of that appointment. Please do not waste appointments um, they are very very precious. So we can cancel that appointment now and it's making sure you want to cancel it and it is now cancelled. So let's now look at our medication on the menu. So from the home page you can order your repeat medication by clicking medication and medication again. On this screen you can see all of your normal repeat medication. Items without a tick box have been issued very recently so we cannot order those until three weeks time. This one has been deleted and can only be authorised by a clinician and this one was ordered very recently. So we can tick the ones we require. You can add notes here if you need to um, that you need a repeat of something you've not had regularly before click on continue you can add notes individually to each medication 
using more, using less, please discontinue, whatever. And then if you request the medication here, you can, if you want to print a confirmation of what you have ordered today, there is also information up here about how soon you can collect it from the pharmacy. We need at least three working days if you need it ready at the pharmacy to collect. Please only order medication that you need to prevent wastage and stockpiling. Please do check your boxes, your packets, your cabinets. This is our NHS that we are trying to save money for and stockpiling is not only dangerous but it gives the doctor the wrong picture of the medication you are taking if you order it every month but don't take it as per the instructions. You can have access for your children at the same address. Uh, if you need access to another adult you must have written confirmation from that other patient and that patient's access is added to your own login. If you are caring for an elderly parent and you would like access to their records to order prescriptions, make appointments, you first need to have written consent of your parent naming you as the child who has full online access to their medical records. So that's a letter of consent written by your parent to the practice naming you um, specifically. The receptionist can then add your parents records and login to your own login so that when you log in you can see your own records and your parents records. And yeah and then you can order prescriptions, see what's been issued, check appointments, book appointments, cancel appointments, um, and it gives you full access to whatever they would have done themselves. You can then click on the other patient and do the same things again. On your patient record you will normally have the summary patient record and on there you can see allergies, recent acute medication, that's um, antibiotics, things that you only need a short supply of, and the current repeat medication is on there and any past repeat medication shows on there. There are a few questionnaires on some websites. Um, if you need to change your password at some point you can do that. Um, lots of information on there about what services you can access. Um, there is also a help screen showing you how to do certain things. We hope you have found this video helpful and that um, this has shown you how easy this is to use. Once you've used it a few times you, it will become second nature and you will wonder why you didn't use it before. If you've got any questions other than what you can see on here please do ask at your reception. If you also can think of any other helpful videos that we could create, please do let us know. Thank you.